Good morning, YouTubers. We're back again. We're the Caper Couple. I'm Kevin and this is Laura. Laura. Today, guys, we're uh, we're actually dressed up because we're heading off to a funeral. One of uh, Laura's really good friends passed away in a car crash, so we're going to head there. And then later on in the day, we're going to take you guys down the north end of the island, uh, show you some good views, and uh, probably catch something to eat somewhere. And not sure what else, but we'll find something for you guys. Until then, we'll catch you later. We're back again, we're now on the highway, we're heading towards the north end of the island. Uh, we possibly are going to show you guys the Cabot Trail today, and we're going to try and get up the top of Cape Smoky, which is the big mountain that we have here, and we'll see if we can get you guys a view today, but it's pretty nasty of a day. It's kind of like the day we done the, um, the Bear Cave. But uh, we'll make the best of it, guys. So stick with us, join us, see what's in uh, store for you guys today. Catch you in a bit. Hi, guys. We're back. We're uh, down in English Town right now. We decided we'd stop here, give you guys a little view of uh, Giant McCaskill Museum. But it's kind of, it's uh, closed today, so we can't get inside. But we thought we'd tell you a little bit about it. I don't have uh, my info on me, but I know a little bit about the man. He was the largest man on the island. I believe he stood around nine feet tall, something like that. He was a large man, and uh, he was known for picking up uh, anchors and throwing them over his shoulder, big boat anchors, and carrying them for people. And one of the anchors is down there on the lawn. I'll take a walk over in a second and show it to you. But yeah, he was uh, he was a very large guy, and uh, the building I'm standing at, this is the museum. See that? It says Angus McCaskill. That was his name. They called him Giant McCaskill. So it's too bad that it's closed today. I'd really like to get in and show you guys a little bit of it. Uh, we can see a little bit in the window here. A little bit. I don't know if you're going to get a great uh, view there, but I'll try and straighten my phone out here so I can stick it up against the glass. See in there, guys? There's a couple of old items in there. That's about it. Uh, I believe they had a, a one of his original chairs. This might have been it here. I'm not sure. Like I say, the place is closed and I can't get any info off anybody because there's nobody here. <laughs> so, I'll just fix my phone here and we'll head over and show you the anchor and then we're going to get out of here. We're going to head down uh, further north on the island. So, it's a nasty day out today but we have to get you some content. wind doesn't play too bad of a part on the phone anymore. I uh, covered it with some uh, foam. So hopefully that helps a bit. I'm here staring at the phone and wandering the wrong direction. But there's an anchor, guys. This is what he would pick up and throw over his shoulder. That's a big anchor. He was known for picking that up all by himself. Throw that over his shoulder and carry it. So, we'll, uh, we'll end this here and we'll be back in a bit, guys. Catch you later. Hey guys, we're here still. We just wanted to show you a little bit of the trip. Um, okay, to check out the colors of the trees on the side of the road. Uh, this is what we go through every fall. It turns a beautiful color bright orange, red and green. You like that, people? It's, uh, it's mostly uh, maple trees, spruce and pine. It's what we have in Canada. So yeah, we just wanted to give you a little uh, view of the highway and the trees and stuff, and we'll see you when we get down there, guys. Hi guys, we're back again. We're now on the famous Cabot Trail. We'll actually stop up here ahead somewhere and give you a nice view of the colorful trees. 
But until then, we'll see you in a little bit. Peace. Hey guys, back again. Just thought we'd give you a little view of the uh, trip on the way. We're uh, just past Wreck Cove, or just coming into us. Haven't been down here in years myself, so uh, you're actually getting this with us. <coughs> As I said, I haven't been down here since I've been a small child. But uh, yeah, you get uh, you get the nice, beautiful colors of the leaves changing. It's pretty cool. All the maple trees turn an orange and a red color this time of year, and yellow. And there's actually a couple of businesses down here that uh, you can do some fun things. You can rent kayaks, take them out in the lake. And you can go shoot some bow and arrows. Those businesses are back behind us somewhere. Um, not sure what's up ahead, but we'll find out. So we'll catch you when we get up a bit further, guys. Start again here, guys. Uh, coming into a nice area, you get a beautiful view. So we'll give you a little taste of that. Simply pizza. Simply pizza. So yeah, it's a long drive through the Cabot Trail, but it's a beautiful drive. It's a nice thing to do on a weekend or something, you know, just take a long, long hike down Cabot Trail. It's a famous area. Everybody loves Cabot Trail. I haven't been down here since I've been a small child. So we're kind of getting to enjoy it together. So I say, uh, I was very, very young when I came down here last, and I don't really remember a lot of it. I was probably around seven, eight years old last time I was down here. Any other time I came through here before that was uh, heading out west. So yeah, guys, I'll give you a little bit, and uh, we'll catch you in a bit. Okay, guys, we had to stop one more time here on the way. We got a nice view here. Leads out into the lake. What do you think of that? It's a little foggy, but it's a beautiful view. How do you like that, guys? Check that out. A little windy, a little chilly, so we'll head back in the car and we'll go further on. Catch you in a bit, peeps. Another little view of the trip there, guys. Uh, let you check a little bit of the ride out. It's an awful long drive through here. I believe it's said online that the Cabot Trail takes about eight hours to go around it. Now, we're not going to do the whole Cabot Trail. We're just going to go up on Cape Smoky let you guys see that and then we're going to head home but uh, yeah it's a long trip cabin trails a long road around long windy road but it's a nice drive guys we used to do it uh, pretty much every weekend when I was a kid my grandparents used to take me all the time take me down here every weekend until one weekend we hit a deer on the way back home. And I believe that was the last time we ever done it. <coughs> Until me and Laura are doing it today. Too bad the weather wasn't nicer. But... Yeah, too bad the weather wasn't nicer. I'd uh, love for it to be a beautiful day out. It's kind of cold out today, guys. Wet, very damp. Really misty out. Uh, it was kind of worse on the north side where, where I'm at. Uh, it's more, more than just a little drizzle back home. It's not too, too bad up this area. It's only a little misty. Ah, here we 
come, we're coming up on the place that uh, you can shoot the shoot the arrows with the bow. It just said 900 meters. Well, it's up here somewhere. Like to thank you all guys for your subscription so far. Really appreciate the help, guys. We enjoy that you're loving our channel, watching our videos. Right, Laura? Yep. Laura's tired. Laura's tired today, guys. She's up early. And she had a rough few last few days. Paper couple coming at you, uh, Kevin and Laura here. Laura. So uh, this time, guys, we're just passing Wreck Cove. We're going up uh, Cape Smoky. We're going to get up on top of the mountain, which is right there. See it? And we're going to give you a nice, beautiful view. Uh, fog is rolled off now, so uh, yeah, you'll get to see what it's like here, guys. And it's just uh, amazing, absolutely amazing place. So we'll get on top of the mountain here and we'll get out and show you around. See you in a minute. Hey peeps, we're back. We're now pretty much on the top of Cape Smoky Mountain. We'll let you have a view here, guys. It's so beautiful here. See how clean the water is there in one, one spot? Nice and green. Give you a look around. Isn't that beautiful? Just amazing, hey guys. I'm going to uh, shoot the camera here and give you a view. We came from way down there and we climbed all the way around and up the mountain. You like that? Come on to the Cape, people. Bring your tourism down here, guys. It's a lovely place. Just amazing place. Look at the waves crashing in. Like that, guys? We love it. Nice, eh? A little bit of construction going on down there, running a new roadway through. Just beautiful, eh? Just beautiful. This is one of the greatest views you're ever going to get on this island. All the colors of the trees changing. Red, orange, yellow, as I told you before. It gets more colorful, colorful than this, guys. It, uh, this is just the start of it. They say winter's coming soon. It's pretty chilly up here on the top of the mountain. You can see Laura shivering. She's dizzy. shivering a bit. <laughs> I got dizzy a little bit. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, uh, come on down check it out come to the Cape make sure you check out Cape Smoky it's just beautiful so I guess <laughs> we'll end the video here peeps and uh, keep your subscriptions coming Yay! comment down below hit that notification bell and until next time we'll catch you later mm -hmm.